All right. Uh, for our developmobile users, this is uh, just a detail on uh, rebuilding my quest, just so everybody knows how I did it. Uh, fiberglass quest from Blue Velo and uh, made some significant modifications. Uh, this is just a better idea of, of um, what I did to uh, strengthen the, um, the chassis. So what you've got here are uh, some stringers on the floor uh, made of foam. It's a foam sandwich uh, laid over with uh, biaxial carbon fiber and then just regular tape for dressing it up. I've got a, a, a rib in the front and a rib in the side. Uh, as you can see, there's a diagonal cross member as well, and a side member. Um, the uh, sandwich panel was made up. Uh, let's see, I used uh, this foam. This is backer rod that I got from uh, Home Depot. Uh, just foam, uh, regular foam they use for drywallers. You can get it in the hardware aisle. Uh, cut it in half and then uh, uh, put it, laid it in place with uh, 3M uh, 77 adhesive um, and then uh, used uh, a couple of different types of uh, epoxy depending upon what I had available to uh, lay it out. But it was all slow cure. Uh, one of the biggest complaints is obviously uh, the hanger, uh, which a lot of Quest or Strata riders really don't like. That's this. Uh, it's prone to breaking. So what I did was I did the modification uh, that some users have done, which is to ditch the hanger. I used a uh, eight millimeter bolt drilled through the tunnel. It's not totally aligned vertically or horizontally, but uh, it's strong enough. Uh, I've got uh, a double bolt on the inside of this axle to lock it in place on the inside of the tunnel with uh, aluminum plates of fiberglass on the inside and then the same on the outside. So this now holds uh, the shock. Um, I add some carbon fiber to the top of the tunnel to strengthen it and make sure uh, that it would uh, hold uh, the stresses. And as you can see, I created a, a gusseted um, box session brace to attach the top of the uh, uh, of the uh, velomobile. Um, just doing a little bit of a final cure here. Um, I use some uh, plate and just so that everybody knows to make sure it doesn't shear loose. I gusseted the back side of it. Uh, anyways, um, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully tomorrow it's raining today. I should be able to take it out and we'll see what happens.